Hey guys, it's Mishi. It's been forever and I wanted to record a real-time video. I actually came back from my first ever RN job. Wow, <laughs> here I am. Uh, yes, I don't have a tripod so sorry for me holding the camera and rattling a bit. Um, my room isn't fancy at all either. It's pretty it's all I could afford right now. <laughs> it's pretty run down. I live like in a really old apartment. So, yes, I came back from my very first RN job. Yay! It was 12 hours day shift, 7 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. There's always a 15 minute overlapping time for a report to uh, of the uh, oncoming shift. And yes, this is what I'm wearing. I don't know if I can totally show. I'm like wearing a green... It's my favorite scrub top, actually. Green. Um, oh, I'm lost for words. I had a really long day. Wow, 12 hour shifts. This is my very first 12 hour shift and my very first um, nursing job or RN job. But although technically I'm not really an RN yet, I still need my 225 hours of non orientation hours and then a good reference from my facility to be sent to the Board of Nursing so I can finally be eligible to register. Yeah, so many bumps in the roads, but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. So, first day. Wow. Okay. Basically, long story short, um, I got a job at a community hospital or a rural hospital as you would like to call it. I'm in a really small town, quite remote, um, two hours away from the city where I was from originally. Reason being, nobody wanted to hire a new grad, <laughs> not in the city at least. The whole nursing shortage news is not true in the city, not anymore. They do not need nurses. They, if ever they like. It's almost like they're trying to cut back hours, if ever, because they just have too many nurses wanting to work in the city. So my advice for new grads is to just expand your horizon, see what else is out there, and don't limit yourself to your comfort zone, basically. And I'm glad that I did this. I actually... I'm really glad that I did. Because, wow, who would have known rural nursing could cover so much? Like, even more than what I did in the city because in the city you're, it's very you know departmentalized it's very distinct where you have to specialize you have to have one focus only like if you're in maternity you're only maternity if you're you know, respiratory you're only respiratory if you're cardiology you're only cardiology here you get anything and everything which I think is fantastic especially for a new nurse like myself who would like to you know get a taste of everything and get exposed to everything. I think it's a good opportunity. However, it was so so busy. Basically, we were only there were only two RNs, um, two LPNs. One was one was a shorter shift, like a part time shift, and one was an eight hour shift. The the RNs are twelve hour shifts, and then no healthcare aids, none at all. And this was in a acute wing. So basically, it's an ER outpatient department plus inpatient um, acute care department. Um, I didn't have a single um, patient who was below 53. Like basically they were more elderly. And I followed, I shadowed a nurse today. Her name was Katie and she was really nice and she was a, she was a new nurse three years ago. That's kind of like how me, it that she could have been me or I could have been her had I had this nursing process over with quite quicker you know bridging from where I'm from to here to Canada but that's not the case so that's what I missed out on and she's so confident and she knows what she's doing she's on top of things and I love the relationship that the nurses rural nurses have with the doctors because you feel like it's amazing how much knowledge they actually have because when even the doctors wouldn't couldn't figure out what's wrong with the patient, they would actually um, give suggestions. They'll be like, you know what? Based on this symptom and that symptom, I think he has this one. What do you think? 
they would say that to the doctor and I think that's totally awesome when the doctor would hear their input and it's just wow I would love to have that expertise I would love to have that knowledge and that experience to be able to do that that's so awesome and they're very take they were very in control like they they knew everything about the patient what what and not just one patient by the way we looked after I'd say 18 to 21 patients yes 18 to 21 assessments 18 to 21 um charting everything it's and meds meds was like the biggest a chunk of work in the acute care unit <sighs> so yeah that's what i did it was really busy and my foot is so sore from standing up for 12 hours i was able to have two breaks thankfully but no 15 minute breaks because it was really busy my co-worker signed like an overtime sheet to get paid for the breaks that they didn't get or whatever but i didn't do that because i'm in I'm a new staff and I don't want to, you know, be demanding or whatnot. And I, it is my orientation, so I'm cool. And look at all the papers I have to read. That's my new or um, employee orientation package. Uh, and it came just today. It would have been nice to have it, like, before I was employed, so I had time to read them. But they just came, so, yeah. And then I wrote my notes in this notebook. Keep calm and there's on. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything. Uh, I still have a lot of videos to catch up on and in, in, in between, but I wanted to take a real time. Today is March 27, 2014. 2014 rocks because I'm finally working an RN job and I love it. There's so much I need to learn, but I love it. I love it. This is where I'm meant to be. It's my passion and just saying that makes me want to cry because it took forever for me to be here and wow. Oh, I'm finally here. I'm not in my ideal dream job in the city in a big hospital but hey, I'm here, you know. It's a blessing and I'll never take anything for granted. So to everyone out there, follow your dreams. Nothing's impossible. And sometimes your dreams would be a little different from what you thought it would be. But you'll still find happiness for sure. So, cheers to everyone.